My name is uh, Yusuf Mehta. I'm an associate professor at the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering at Rowan University. I'm Vivek Jha, a graduate student in Civil and Environmental Engineering Department at Rowan University. I'm Ashish Varkar, graduate student at Rowan University. Uh, this project is being done with Dr. Clay Glabler at Virginia Tech, at a polytechnic in institution. And uh, it is, it is, the funding amount is $278,000. It's called Development of uh, payment catalog for the state of New Jersey. This is a clinic project as well as it, it's uh, uh, two graduate students are, f are funded on this. Uh, the project entails uh, getting the uh, data of existing payment sections which are on the, on the roads for probably 5 to 10 to 15 years. Collecting all the data, construction data, uh, payment data and performance data, how they're performing and determining if the new design guide is appropriate or validating the new design guide based on that data. Once uh, all the kinks or discrepancies in the design guide is sorted out, uh, it will be mandated by the Federal Highway Administration to use it on all, all roads in the state, in, in the state and maybe in the country. I'm presently working on designing a payment design catalog for the state of New Jersey. They came up with this new payment software by which you design roads. Uh, they spent about $10 million. Uh, it was developed at Arizona State University for the whole country, United States as well. And um, every state put money into it for developing the software. And what we are doing is, is making sure that software works for New Jersey. And because it's a long process and we, we are just trying to show Department of Transportation for the New Jersey that till the point you can use the software on a full-fledged basis, uh, we are giving you a tool that you can use it right now. And it's just one of the steps which is, it's a long process which uh, the implementation is going to happen in two or three years, but this is the first step in the implementation process of the software. The necessity for doing this is to make sure that the, the roads can last longer, are more durable, and it's and, and therefore cost effective in the long run. It's very important because a lot of money went to, into it at the first stage and this is going to save a lot of money in the future. A lot of taxpayer money is going to be saved by this project. Uh, basically, New Jersey DOT is one of the places, New Jersey is one of the places where people travel a lot. It's one of the highest commuting states. People commute a lot here and because of that, a lot of road has to be repaved as you drive along any road you see some work going on. This is going to save that. This is going to make sure that what happens in three years, uh, no reconstruction in three years, maybe it's going to take eight or nine years, that's going to save a lot of money uh, in the future. And that's what we are trying to make sure that it does save and it's the best we can do about it. The highlight of being a graduate student in Rowan Engineering is we are being, ma being made work on real funded projects in the industry. So that, that is like fulfilling the transportation needs of the, this garden state as well as the United States and at the same time it helps us to fulfill our academic needs. I'm glad to be part of this whole program. Uh, I've got so much exposure. I, I could not even believe when I came here that I would have so much exposure. I met people like, uh, like as a master's student you would never have the opportunity. I presented in one of the biggest conferences in the world and uh, to interact with people that you actually read papers, you actually see photographs on on the internet, you know, you're like, wow, like if I could even meet this person in, like in real, that would be great. And I've met those people, I've talked about them, and they appreciate my work, what I'm doing at Rowan University with Dr. Yusuf Mehta, who's one of the most amazing guys to work for. Like, that's, that's what.